<laughs> so, hey, what was that question you asked me earlier? So, the question is, can you love someone so much that it becomes ignorant? Now, the reason why I brought this up was because I was going through music on my phone. Um, the last beat idea that I did, you silly as hell. <laughs> you silly little motherfucker, but I was. I was just getting ready to do it, and I looked up, and he was like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, for all y'all listening who didn't know what I was getting ready to do. Yeah, for some weird reason, he... <laughs> He's on that energy of Diddy. Ah, uh-huh. man, you know that's some good tea. This is um some good tea. It's cinnamon tea. <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a story Carmen behind that. Behind right. that question, going through music. One of the last beats I did before I moved from uh, Michigan to Washington. I named it Ignorant Love. I was going through my phone this today because I was looking for something to listen to and I came across that. And I was like, one, why did I name this music that title? Two, can love be ignorant? And what would cause that to be ignorant? Yes. Yeah, all right. And for all y'all who don't know, might be making music and shit. So, uh, you know, hit them up with some music. It's a beat and shit. No, you don't. Know, though, it ain't for it ain't for free. It ain't for free. So you know, just hit them up. It's too late now. Commissions is closed. <laughs> <laughs> too late. Too you, late. You can sneak late. one in. You can sneak one in there. <laughs> just sweeten the pot. Just sweeten the pot. There you go. But yeah, and, uh, but yeah. So is it? Do do I believe that you can love someone so much that is ignorant or ignorant, however you want to put it? Ignite. Um, yeah, I believe so because sometimes you just like you don't know how much you actually love somebody, and then you start doing shit that doesn't make much sense. People like to call it, you know, being madly in love, which mostly that's just being ignorant in love because you're doing shit that you wouldn't do, but it's not doing it just to be doing it. It's like, I just want to do it type deal. So yes, I do believe that. And I asked the wife this, Mm -hmm. the same question. Her answer was, I do believe that it's possible, but only when the chemistry is right with the person. Like, she loves me very much, as she always has, and she loves me ignorantly. Yeah. Um, but she don't believe love as a whole in society. And what she means by that is that people in general aren't as loving to their partners as they should be. So they would just do things, but not the way they're supposed to, not the way it's envisioned or whatever. And if they did, if everything worked out the way it was supposed to, love would be simple. And they wouldn't say love is hard. Damn, I, I, I haven't. Heard. Maybe I have, and I've just like brushed past the whole love is hard because I don't, I don't think it is. I don't, I don't believe it is because in order for you to love somebody else, you gotta love yourself first, correct? That is, that is true. You cannot love anybody without loving yourself. Right. So. That's my whole thing. That's why I never found it to be hard. Um, me personally, I believe that love is unconditional. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're in relationships, say, okay, you and your wife, you know, y'all are a mirror reflection of each other. I don't know who chose who first, but it's the choice to be with that other person. That's why it's a reflection. When it comes to a relationship, you know, it, it's something about you that you physically or mentally, verbally can't say that she can or do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just something about her, the reason why you chose her. 
So right, that's right. why I believe that, you know, love can be unconditional just for that simple point. Because you motherfuckers shows each other. Now, if y'all knocking heads and shit all the time, knowing that y'all chose each other, then why the hell are y'all knocking heads? The um, initial love of a person is unconditioned. Being in love with somebody is unconditional. Elaborate. You with some, you dating, you you getting with old girl or guy, whatever y'all do out there in the streets, and are you okay? You what? Know, this person is a good person. You know, I like this person. And but you are choosing to love that person on a condition that this is actually a good person. Mm. Mm. Not just being like, oh, it was love at first sight. No, it was a condition that which was met that gave you this love for this person. Mm. Think about it like. Just because you don't love them. They think about like like other friends, female friends, like that you're not really trying to get into a relationship with or childhood friends or whatever. Like you have love for that person. Mm -hmm. It's not that type of love. But that love is conditioned because, yo, I've been with this person. We know each other for X amount of years. You know, I, you know, I love this person. It's not in a, a romantic way or anything like that. It's But that was the condition that was met. Like, all right, I've been with this this person for up teen years. You know, so love has formed for this person. So that was a condition that was met for that love. Mm, that's a good answer. Now, say you say you fall in love or the love of the conditions for a person is not really what that person are. That's a front. And you have been bamboozled. <laughs> But it happens. <laughs> there are times where the person that you had once fell in love with turned out to be a completely different person. A boy. <laughs> like, it, yeah. He like, come on now. I thought you was with it. You ain't with it. You just hit a fucking tag. Get your ass out of here. Because, you know, and, uh, I, because people get. People put up fronts, and it's nothing negative about it. Everybody do, for the most part. Like, they put their best face forward. Mm. Like, this is what I am. This is what I'm presenting to you. This is what I am. And then catch one off day, you're like, what, what the fuck's wrong with you? you be like, what? Now nah, this is how I am. Like, oh, shit, there's people around. Ah, hey, guys, hey, what's going on, man? And that's just what it is. Cause Look I at people at work. asked the, the co-worker this and Brody, he broke it down. He was like, yo, some people don't even know what love is. He was like fucking nine times out of 10 people are lusting after each other. And he was like, and he was also like women love on conditions when they're dealing with a man. Yeah. <laughs> More so than men. Yeah, they definitely do. Yeah. So there's stipulations. For most women, when it comes to their their male partner, they have to be this. They have to be that. They gotta have this. They gotta have that. They gotta dress this way. They gotta smell this way. It's all those things. So, are you looking for love, or are you looking for a fucking business? Because most women nowadays is business. That shit crazy. Not all. Not all of them. But then also. You really got to think about it. Like, do these people nowadays actually know what love is? Like, were they raised in a place where love was shown? Mm, good question. So, like, if they were raised in a place where love wasn't shown, but people were just together, they would think that's love. Like, that's not love. They just stay stay together. So can you define the word love? Because people show love in many different ways, and there are different aspects of love. You cannot define love. It is a human construct. Mm. You cannot define it. A human construct. Elaborate. What other animal loves? Well, you got the blue jay. They made for life, isn't that considered love? 
That's all. Do they say law? I don't. I don't speak Blue Jay, sir. I mean, that's bad on your part. You know what I'm saying? What you, you should mean? learn Blue Jay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no. So if the word wasn't created, then we wouldn't like a lion. Isn't like yo, I love these lionesses. I gotta, gotta put that work in. You know what I'm saying? Lioness. Raw. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get them. The lionesses. No. The lionesses. You know what I'm saying? The lionesses. Lionesses. Whatever. Fuck. Fuck that word. The female lions. All right. And uh, but no, they're not thinking that way. It's like boom. I need to make. I need to make my. My seed go everywhere. I need I need the most of what I got in the time frame that I got it. Birds that mate for life. They just they just pair up. They're parents. Not necessarily a love. It's just like, ooh, I found you, you found me. Let's just come for the rest of our days. <laughs> Where I go, you go. But like missing and like like sorrow and mourning. Like, that's a real thing mm-hmm. with all species. But love, though, yeah, I don't think it's a love when it comes, especially for what, dolphin? Nah, they ain't loving nothing. I mean, dolphins are getting, you'll get diddy by a dolphin, you know what I'm saying? Fuck around, and you gonna find out. <laughs> Man, why y'all be talking shit about the dolphin like that? Ain't nobody Bro. fucking tell y'all to believe that lie that these are innocent fucking creatures? Hell. <laughs> Stop doing no, the dolphins like they're the only other animal apart from humans that have sex just to do it. It's <laughs> not for a reason. Like they're not trying to mate. They're not trying to to have spawn. Nope. This should feel good. They just fuck it. Like yo, I can get that. Shit, I'm about to go in and get that. Like y'all some dirty ass dolphins. <laughs> nasty old man in the dolphin world, but. <laughs> That's weird. Just like orcas, they kill for fun. Like, most of the time, they're not killing to eat. They're just killing just because it's a good time. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Since everybody want to be PC, let's start labeling hoes as dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that old dolphin over there. Oh, flipper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, flipper over there. Look at her showing that fin off. <laughs> Oh, she tried to see try to get somebody to get that blowhole. That's what she tried. Oh boy, yeah, you better watch out, man. That, I heard that blowhole got some shit wrong with it, man. Oh boy, she dangerous with that bottleneck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for that back pin, man. I think it get you every day. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, you gotta. I'm telling you. Ooh, speaking of, of something along those lines, um, bottleneck. Long. Yeah, long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Me and Iwaki, we we living up in uh, upstate New York, mm-hmm. and we're walking around just you know seeing shit. Go actually, we were going to the store, and on our way to the store, I'm looking around. And I just happen to look up at a window. Mm-hmm. There's this chick hanging halfway out the window, Did naked, down. and this <laughs> dude is in there just. Bunny rapid fucking the shit out of this girl. And me not having the sense that I got, I look up and I say, Holy shit, yo, fuck it. And I'm pointing, cars is going by, looking and honking and everything. I'm like, and this dude was like, Yeah, and he really trying to put in some work. I'm like, Bro, you ain't gonna last too much long. You need to calm down. <laughs> You're going to run out of energy, buddy. You, you might want to slow down. <laughs> buddy was on the rabbit fuck. <laughs> yeah, he really was. He was rabbit fucking the shit out of that girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that was the most wildest shit I've ever seen. Her head was hanging, or like her upper body was hanging out the window. <laughs> like her head was damn near touching the roof. And he's just going to town on it. I was like, yeah, damn. It must have been hot. Let a screen go. It, it must have been hot in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like granted though, in upstate New York, we kind of lived in the hood. Upstate New York in the hood. For one, there's hoods everywhere. Yeah. Some are just worse than others. But it was in the Watertown area. 
Okay. So it was like homeless people, drug addicts, and prostitutes? <laughs> yes. Actually, right next to like where we live, there was an apartment complex. And yeah, that's that's where all the shit was at over there. There was this one chick who only had one titty, and she used to always be sitting outside. With a titty out and, Well, she only had one. Like, she kept it covered, but she only had the one. She had like a, a mastectomy, I think that's what it's called. She had like breast yeah. cancer. Yeah. And so they chopped that motherfucker all the way off. That's crazy. And that's, that's so, it. Like, should be the last resort. I think it might have been. I don't know. He, Man, was, he was look, like, fuck it, bro, I don't care. Bro, how fucking diabolical is that? And how much do you hate women to chop off a titty? I mean, damn that medical just for, reason. Like, if that was me in that position, fun. hey, we going to say that breast. Hell. We're going to do whatever we can to say that meat. Yeah, we're going to say that nipple. Hell, we no, we're not doing that. I don't that. care if we're gonna end up with just like a little lump right there with a nipple on it. <laughs> you have something. Look, be like, extra belly buttons. <laughs> right? Be like, yo, how do you got an Audi up on your chest? What the hell? Is that a pimple? Is that, that's a nipple. What the? Why do you look like that? Leave Does it that alone. single hair? Like, why look like somebody just gave you a knot on your chest? <laughs> like, is that a golf ball? They ain't playing the golf ball in there? Oh, man. What else yeah. you got? Since you done strayed off the topic. <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely did. Um, There was something else I was getting ready to say. Something about this. It might have been the work conversation. Now, T.A.D. wasn't really talking about anything. A little what? bit about that Deadpool movie, but that's about it. Uh, it looked trash, to be honest. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be funny, though. Yeah, yeah, but it, it still can have a garbage storyline. I'm just saying. Yeah, like Spider-Man Homecoming. That had a trash-ass <laughs> storyline. But everybody loved that fucking movie. Oh, it's the better son. Ah. Shut up. It was not the best. I don't know what happened. Uh, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, we had some uh, technical difficulties here. Um, in other news, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the music playing. Damn it. Back? Anyway, how has everybody been doing? Have y'all been all right? I hope everybody been all right. Um, yeah, you know, I hope, hope your day has been wonderful. Hope you hope you've been having the day that you needed to ask. If you didn't have the day that you needed to have, that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, tomorrow's a new day. You can go in, you know, do something with your life then. You know, do some. I don't know, maybe you slept wrong. Maybe you woke up and did something wrong. Ooh, speaking of waking up and doing something wrong, you know you should give yourself at least 30 minutes to an hour after waking up to get on your phone. Otherwise, that could lead you to, like, Especially if you have like all the notifications and of everything that you got going on that day, it will sort of overwhelm you in the morning. Like, oh uh, man, I gotta do all of this or this stuff happened and that or that or whatnot or what have you. You know what I'm saying? So it's actually, you know, let give yourself some time to wake up before you do anything like that. Yeah. So you know, you wanna that that's what you wanna do. You know, give yourself some time to wake up. Before you get on your your phone. Um, speaking of which, that brings up a topic that I'm gonna be that I need to ask about once everything come back in. So speaking of which, everything just came back in. So my bad, folks. The soft body called me. I was expecting that phone call. wasn't expecting the podcast to go this early. So we back. We back. We back. All right. Oh, so. As I was doing my random talking, mm-hmm. I'm going to let you know this too. It's not good when you wake up to instantly get on your, your cell phone. No. Give yourself like 30 minutes to an hour to wake up before you look at your phone. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, other than that, before you can go to sleep, do you have to scroll through your phone? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. The only right. reason why my phone is not on airplane mode right now is because of the podcast and the soft body that I'm dealing with. Other than that, 
nigga single phone go in the airplane mode at like 7 7 30 by nine o'clock i'm out like a light yeah damn nine o'clock shit nigga sometimes it'd be eight o'clock eight thirty <laughs> Damn. I had a day off uh Monday. Nigga took a nap. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, man. I can't remember the last time. Actually, no, I think today. Well, today I passed out randomly. I didn't even know I went to sleep. Uh I really didn't. I was sitting there, I don't know if I was watching TV or what the fuck was. I don't fucking know, to be honest. You like I was sitting on the couch, and then next thing I know. Like me and the wife are sitting on the couch. Next thing I, next thing I know, life is gone, and my daughter is sitting right here in my damn face. <clears throat> I'm like, what? She's like, oh, you're awake now. I didn't know I was asleep, but yes, I'm awake now. All right. Well, you might want to go, go get that, that like that, just randomly going to sleep and shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then so then the wife came in. She was like, "Oh, how was your nap?" I was like, "I didn't know I took a nap." I was... <laughs> how long were you out for? <laughs> I don't know how long I was out. She didn't tell you? No, I don't know when I passed out. I don't know. I actually don't even know what time I woke back up. I just woke up because she was right there in my face, my daughter. So I'm like, mm. "Oh, you're awake." My face, out my face, out my face. <laughs> yeah, What's you on ten to ten, bro. <laughs> I got you. Holy shit, I was not expecting you. <laughs> Just make up on that that quick. You won't care the camera now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Coke classic. How can I not, yeah, bro? Yeah. Yo, there's been so many. There's only like a hand, not even a handful. I think there's only two people. <laughs> Whoever got that reference. You and my homie Solo. <laughs> The only two people that ever got there, right? everybody just be looking at me like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm. right. Go get culture. Uh, yeah. Hell. Right. Yeah, yeah, ain't about shit. Right. Go get culture. Hell. Or gonna we'll be like, Cindy, your TV's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it never oh, done that shit. before. Just <laughs> fits <laughs> Yo, she whooped that woman's ass. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> oh, the oh, movies were shit. so damn dumb and funny at the same time. Love them. Yeah. Love them. Yeah, that's gross. Who is that? Ours and yours. What? Oh. Yes. You, you nasty. Anyway, look. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to get back to the podcast. What they doing? Showing you random body parts? <laughs> So that was a burp. <laughs> no, nah, your ass is traumatized. Them <laughs> kids over there traumatizing your ass. For well, one, that's what kids do. <laughs> kids traumatize their ass. Like I said, I was asleep. And then I wake up and Jesus white hair. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> oh, you're awake now. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> she was mm-hmm. playing with your face and shit. Like, yeah, really you know, <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and put this doll away. And I don't want to see what's going to happen now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but no, there's been numerous times where I'll wake up in the morning and either one or both of the kids is in my damn face. Like, my boy, he would actually just be, he would just sit down on the bed. And just be going on his iPad. He'll just be sitting there, just da 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 da. I'm wake up. I'm like, ah, all right, dude, move. <laughs> My daughter, on the other hand, nah, she <laughs> she just be disrespectful. She just be all in your face. <laughs> and then, yeah, it just be disrespectful. Yeah. I, I would, I out my kid. Got the dogs playing all over your face and shit. Talking about Cindy, we're going to have tea today, right? <laughs> yes, uh, Becky. I don't know. Uh, I will jack you up. Oh shit! I try. I try to be all, all, all like all nice and keep like <laughs> turn around. Uh, <laughs> that, I will fuck right <laughs> with the crazy eye. Yeah, you, you bust it to it. <laughs> I get up, you bust it to it down. You will sit to it down. Hey, what a boy! What a boy! It's funny because uh, I met your huh? dad, so. Yeah, hearing you say that, 
and him not saying anything and just looking at a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> that nigga was scary. No, for the most part, I don't got to say anything. <laughs> That nigga was scary. I don't, I don't know about you. Yo. You look like L. I will Bar stand shit, up. So. <laughs> nah, nah. Bro, I'll sit there. I look. Ain't happening. I will stand up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All you hear is little feet just running off. And they be barefoot, so their feet just be slapping the ground. For one, why do kids walk? And they feet slap the ground that way. Because they haven't developed that fucking heel toe thing. You know, it's just. All you hear is just. Yeah, yeah, they haven't developed that. That's why I say the pitter patter of little feet. Yeah, they haven't developed that part yet. They haven't been trained on walking. So that's why the foot feels like it sounds like it's slapping the ground. No, it don't sound like it's slapping the ground. That motherfucker is slapping the ground. <laughs> hey, you ever like that motherfucker just be like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, when they was toddlers, did they ever get mad at you and then step off? Bear, that is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> so my boy one time, <laughs> like nigga, you he, less than twelve inches tall. I will flick he, you across the room. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I don't know, he he was under a year old. I'm changing his diaper, and this dude get height, and he kicked me in my junk. He right in the ball. This one was kicked me in the ball. This one was little. He was. In the middle of changing the diaper. I ain't had a diaper on him all the way yet. I took that thing no, and I thumped the shit out of that. I swear to God I did. I thumped the shit out of the little bitty boys. You know what happened? That motherfucker never did that shit again. Hey, boy, come here. Hey, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Good old parenting. You don't see that that more. Good old parenting. Yeah. Nah, you really don't. Mm -mm. Everybody saw PC. Yeah, it definitely... Can't do this. They don't do that, and that, that, that. I'm like, yo, just, just calm it down. <laughs> just you know, sometimes you just, sometimes you just gotta pop out and show me. You know what I'm saying? Just fuck your ass up. Get out of the screen, boy. Let me face. Come here. You know, throw this away. I go put this away. Get out of here if I keep me in it. Man, that song and video is still going crazy, bro. Yeah, bro, that ain't finna. That ain't going nowhere. That's gonna be like the bop for like the next like year and a half. Actually, it's just gonna be the bop until that, forever. Man, that it's terrible. Like it's videos on my YouTube feed from two, three, four months ago talking about this situation. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. I didn't even know it was going for that long. Hey, Yo, know, there was a big. A big thing. And the reason why it was so big is because Drake was so popular. Mm. Like, Drake was everywhere. You couldn't turn on the radio or listen to somebody play this without a Drake song playing in some way, shape, or form. That is hilarious that you brought that up because that is so true. And now you can't turn on shit with not, without hearing that song. By Kendrick. Yeah. That is hilarious. And then... And, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, and, and now, it's funny because now <clears throat> everybody is finding out about his, his discography. It was like, yo, this is, this is dope. And I'm not just talking about, you know, To Pimp a Butterfly or Miss Morale and the Big Steppers. No, nah, you talking or, about Section 80 and... Section 80 and all of those other shit. Yeah, back there. the mix we were finding out about shit. that. Oh, the yeah, mix Yeah, like, yo. And I'm like, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, yeah, y'all didn't know. Like, Kendrick been that guy. He just yeah. wasn't mainstream like that, like that. Yeah. Like, he picked and chose when he was going to put some shit out and, that worked for him. And see, like, he wasn't a slave to the industry. And that's what makes him such a legendary artist, bro. Not only that, but lyrically, he. He lyrically he can't be fucked with, and when it comes no, to like putting together, um, a motion picture and audio, bro, he a, he a goat. Yeah, none can do it better nowadays. Man, like his art of storytelling is similar to the '90s to 2004 ish art of storytelling. 
I'm gonna have to go back to the 2004 era. I I feel like I don't miss like fucking years and shit. Like just missing like a he- year here and a year here. I'm like, damn, what popped off in 2004? Hey, did we talk about that Eminem album? Yes, we did, and I still haven't listened to it yet. And it don't went fucking wow. platinum. Yo, that shit is dope. It, but you don't understand. This man has been, he's went platinum in every, like, decade or some shit like that. Like, every 10 years, this motherfucker done went platinum. Like, he's another one who, like, if he started off, he was dropping a lot of hours. But now, he'll just drop some random shit. All the shit is be fired. Man, I, I think, well, I know the story behind that whole situation because I study it. So, with you being a new act and you're and you garnered all this attention, you want to monetize that attention. Yeah, you want to keep keep that momentum going. Yeah, so that's because before you got that attention, you've already accumulated a discography. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now that you already got two albums ahead of everybody else, you can continue. To keep that momentum going. And that's why some of these cats got like big discographies. Like Jay's is like, don't get it twisted. Jay, he dope. But like uh volume three, Life and Some Times of Sean Carter, that shit is terrible, bro. That shit is terrible. Yeah. I mean, no. So I listened, like volume one was it was okay. No. It was okay. Uh, volume two, though, was lit. Was fire. Yeah. Then volume three, I was like, yeah. So, so. And then the Black album was all right. That was a banger. And then that was the last album I listened to. Damn. You ain't even listened it, to Blueprint 3? I mean, the Blueprint? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say shit. Yeah. Because the Blueprint <laughs> 3, that was, that was, that was, it was a few good songs on there. Like, uh, they had Dr. Dre on the Just Blaze beat. I thought that shit was just fucking amazing. I thought that was amazing. It's uh Jay and Dre on the Blueprint 3. Just Blaze did the beat. Fucking Just Blaze beat. Just You know, man. Crazy. Crazy song. So there was this uh this song. With uh Red Man on his uh Dax the Name album. It was him and uh no, no. It was it was Eric Sermon. Oh, my bad. It was Eric Sermon. Uh React. Mm. That song just popped in my head. I was like, yo, that song was dope. But then there is a song from the the Dax the Name album. It's him and Buster Rhymes. Ignorant. And just pure and, ignorant and it's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Two chaos amazing. gods on the same yeah. record together. Like, come on now, it don't get no better than that yeah. shit. Oh no, reasonable doubt was dope. In my lifetime, volume one, trash. I didn't care too much for. Then the hard knock life, volume two, banger. Volume three, didn't care for it. The dynasty, rock la familia. That was didn't straight. To it. That was like. That was the introduction of Beanie Siegel's State Property, Freeway, you know, the rest of the rock seller. That's what that was about. That was the introduction yeah. of Kanye and Just Blaze, too. Yeah, that's when they got oh, the record wow. label together. That's why they put out that compilation album, too. Yeah. Then, yes, the Blueprint, yes. That's fucking banger. The Blueprint 2, no, I did not listen to um, the black guy. Cool. I actually, no, I did listen to that, yeah. but nothing really stuck out for me. <laughs> like, you tweaking public service announcement. Listen to that shit. Listen to that. Yeah, I'm a cold piece the, of work. Uh, Just blaze once again. Okay, no, okay. So, well, no, O three Bonnie and Clyde. Stop that fucking. Hey, uh, it for another big old uh, diamonds forever, guns and roses, music fans. There's too many. Uh, it's only what they're going to do. Yeah, nah, bro. None of them really stuck out. Yeah, it's only a few good tracks on there, bro. Yeah, it's only a few yeah, good so tracks. That's why they really give a shit about that one. Yeah. Uh, the Black album, yeah. 
<laughs> Never Let the Kingdom Come, American Gangster, um, um Beatrix Three. I think I did listen to this. The Holy Grail. Uh, yeah, Carter, Holy Lost Grail. The Death of Auto Tune and Run This Town, Empire State of Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like some of that one. It wasn't like yeah up there, but it, it had it had some, a few little bangers on there. And then um, then it was uh what, what was that one with uh or, I know I didn't even listen to Magna Carta Holly Magna Carter Holy Grail. I didn't listen to that, that joint all the way through. That joint is crazy. Sonically, it's crazy. 444, as I said before, never listened to it. Amazing album. That that shows growth. I think that's it. Yeah, that was all of his albums. Then he had his little collaborative album, The Best of Both Worlds with R. Kelly. Garbage. Unfinished Business with R. Kelly. Garbage. Collision Course with Linkin Park. It was straight. Again, Watch the Throne. I fucked with that one. Uh, I didn't listen to it all the way through. And then Everything is Love with Beyonce. I asked the Carters. I don't know what you know about that one. Um, I know that first not one a big, was cool. um, That first one they did together was cool. After that, I was like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big Beyonce fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this wasn't uh, <laughs> Me either. my thing. I'm I'm nah I I don't listen to bad bitch music because I'm not a bad bitch. <laughs> I ain't out here. Bitch, I'm not a bad bitch. I ain't out here listening to Lotto and Glorilla and <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. And if you're a female fucking rapper, why the hell would you call yourself a stallion? Because they uh. It sound good, yeah, to them, yeah. But if you because I'm like, yeah, nah, yeah, that means you, you know a what man, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you you got that old me, you know what I mean? You might want that old me, you know what I mean? Maybe some of y'all want that old me, but nah, we don't need that old me. <laughs> yeah, bro, that came up. <laughs> that topic came up at work. Cause the young kid, he was going through his TikTok, and they had fed fed him something on Megan the Stallion, and I was like, Stallion, nigga, ain't that a fucking wild horse, a male wild it's horse, a, a wild male horse? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> that's the king of the wild horses, <laughs> All right? And that that's you, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, some smells fishy. <laughs> so she's gonna eat that cotton sandwich, you know what I mean? You watch out. That shit ain't With going. that extra male name, though. <laughs> With that extra. She's gonna eat that damn song. I ain't gay. You're sucking my cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, so. Oh, I was listening to uh, this little playlist. And there's this dude called Big X the Plug. Yeah. He has a song called... I fucked with that song. Yeah. I don't know when it came out. I don't know either, but um, I got a homie in Texas. He be putting me up on all that music down there. Yeah. Oh, this is a Texas dude? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a big dude. You can tell, like, I'm looking at the artwork. You can tell by his chin. <laughs> and he don't got the whole body on there. He got, like... From the upper lip down to like the middle of his chest, but you can see the chin that he a big dude. <laughs> like he, he got to cut extra. back on the cold cuts. <laughs> he got to cut back on the goddamn turkey knuckles because that shit is and seeping through the pores. Yeah, I, yeah it definitely is. But I did get that reference though. That's Blue Street. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I can't just, I can't just let this one just go. I got, I got to let them know. I did catch the reference. Oh man! Oh, which if y'all ain't watched Blue Street, a classic. Yeah, movie another too. classic. Was that before Big Mama's House? Or was that after? Let's see. Blue Street came out in nineteen ninety nine. That was before. Yeah. It was before. Yeah. Big Mama's House came out in 2000. Why? For the 99 and 2000. You hear me? Oh, man. Why the fuck would he do that? Because Blue Streak is such... I hate Big Mama's House. 
I never watched I've it. Never watched I, it I'm not. I just hate the principle of that nigga wearing a fat suit. Yeah, it's like it's like Robin Williams did Mrs. Doubtfire, and then all the black motherfuckers had to do the same shit. Yeah, basically. Because Mrs. Doubtfire is first, yeah. and everything else followed that. Like that one with Vin Rains and Wesley Snipes. Oh my God, that shit right there. Man, they be showing clips of that shit on YouTube. I be like, why in the fuck did this movie ever come up? Wait, what? It, two, what is it? Two Wong Fu? Oh. Yeah. 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 And then there's another one with Vin Rain. Oh my God. I'm like, what in the fuck is this shit? No, I think, no, yeah, that, I think Two Wong Fu came out. Yeah, it came out. Hey. I don't know. I think they both came out around the same time because Two Wong Fu had like um a a big push behind it. And then the other one with Vin Reigns is kind of like some low budget shit. I don't know. I just been I see clips of that shit on YouTube and I'll be like, yo, this is absolutely crazy. And then y'all niggas mad at Tyler Perry when niggas Tyler said, no piss. Yeah, no. Uh T Wong Fu came out in ninety five. I knew it came out before. And then what, it was the Van Rames joint? And then Van That is a weird way. That is a weird ass name. Uh that Ming Rames just that's weird for that um, big ass buff nigga to be wearing the fuck, man. That's just weird. <clears throat> Holiday heart is that? What yeah. Mean? Yep. Because all the for one, because all the females in the comments of the clip was like, "I love that movie." I'm like, "I'm like, bitch, why do you love that big ass black nigga portraying the woman?" <laughs> Actually, you know what? Who's the first one to do something like that <laughs> that I can think of? Is um uh, uh who the uh Larry Johnson? Yeah, Grandmama. Yeah, yeah that was like what nineteen ninety ninety one ninety two. Yeah, cause he did he he made a guest appearance as that on Family Matters. Yep. Yeah, that shit is man. This shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. And then you got fucking Dennis Rodman walking around in a wedding gown. Holding Madonna head. I'm like, what I think type of crazy. witchcraft shit? She done got this nigga. <laughs> yeah, I, that, nigga? that dude was something, something he else. He wearing the veil and everything. <laughs> Lipping yeah, that shit you, back. Who hurt you, Dennis? <laughs> Why is he wearing you like this? Don't be in the streets like that, bro. <laughs> that, that, he winning championship. Oh my God, that shit is different. I... I look back on all that shit now, and I was like, thank God none of that shit took. Because <laughs> it got to be like a... I mean, some of it did take. <clears throat> it's a predictive programming for culture. sure. That's a predictive programming for sure. Because that was crazy to see these big buff cut niggas <laughs> wearing them. Wearing dress. The funniest part was Grandma Ma, because that motherfucker had a wig on and everything, but he still... He ain't trying to cover that gold too. He's always smile. Bro, that shit was, that hilarious. Mustache he was hilarious though. Yeah. He said everything. He didn't try to talk like a woman. He was just wearing a dress. Just like like Ray was. Where'd you get yours from? Oh, I just I just put it on. It said fly, right? <laughs> oh, them shit is classic. I gotta watch them. No. Yeah, I yeah, definitely like there's gotta watch so them. many just like random shit you can say from that movie. No, the best part of that movie is them going to bed and she get into a fight with that cat. Be <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what it is. It's because I went I went duty in your litter box, huh? <laughs> <laughs> broke that bottle <laughs> and then she yelled bro can you imagine going to the bathroom walking past that door and hearing that right and then the old pervy ass dude over there he was like well, why don't you guys uh, sleep together <laughs> oh, like, I know what you're getting right he's like yeah I mean like 
it's less likelihood a cat to come back if you two were, let's say, together. <laughs> I mean, it is college. This is the time like, to we're experiment. Not gonna... <laughs> He's like, we're not going to get any help here. He's like, on the contrary, I'll be glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> you old nasty ass college professor. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gross motherfucker. You got five kids, been married for ten years, and you lusting after these fucking nineteen to twenty five year old girls. You gross. Right. And then uh <laughs> when you see when you sell that ghoul down there to that little ghost. It's like, hey, <laughs> over there had mad swag walking over to it. Over there had that bop out of goddamn world. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. Oh, my God, that movie is fucking it's, awesome. It's... Take my hand. Oh, Blake, you mean your only one. I don't want that. It's not strong enough. Here, take my little hand. <laughs> it's the strong one. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Camo toe. Yo, it's so oh, many shit. fucking Yeah, they fucked that whole yeah. franchise up, bro. They fucked yeah, that I'm whole franchise that up. Did. Yeah, they could have had like six classics. For real. <laughs> for real, for but real. People wanted more money and wouldn't even want to give them the create they wanted the more di- creative yeah, control. They- yeah. Yeah. And it was like, nah. That, but that's stupid, hit. We're though. We're going to keep it going. That's dumb like, because... Can't keep it going. Somebody, um, somebody put together a video of the Wayans family and the work they put together, bro. That, the first uh, scary movie was shot for $14 million. That motherfucker made $150 million in the first fucking weekend. Yeah, because at that time, nobody made movies like that. Bro, the second one did even crazier numbers, bro. Well, okay, I take it back. They did do movies like that because you had Spaceballs. Um, I'm going to which... get you sucker was the first one. Yeah. I think Spaceballs came out before I'm going to get you sucker. But it was Spaceballs was not with the Wayans family. Yeah. Yeah, but it's another parody movie. Yeah, what's Spaceballs? Yeah, Spaceball Spaceball first? Came out in '87. Yeah, and then uh, I think I'm gonna get you sucker came out. Uh, yeah, it came out in '89. Oh, they got about two years. So it was Spaceballs. Then it was I'm gonna get you sucker. Yeah, but which one is better? Uh, I don't know. That's actually a difficult one because they're both great. Like, cause Mel Blank, he was like a pioneer with doing movies like that and shit. Yeah, but you. I'm just asking because it's like two, it's two different genres of movies. It is two Both of them are different genres. Yeah. Because, like, I understand, and I love I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Like, I'm sorry, Mel Brooks, not Mel Brooks, not Mel Blank. Mel Blank is a fucking Looney Tunes dude. Yeah. Um, Damn, you know that shit, too? That's crazy. Uh, What, the Looney Tunes dude? Yeah, no, that you know that information. I thought I was the only nerd like that on the cartoons. Uh no, I just it just always it's it's always there when you watch the Looney Tunes. It's <laughs> Bill Bell. Yeah. So it always just stayed in my head. Um It is so fucking like, hard to find those cartoons streaming too. Oh uh, uh HBO Max. Nah. No, I mean the ones we watched that was from the damn fifties, sixties, and seventies. Not the new HBO version. Max. HBO Max. Man. But, um, yeah, yeah, I don't, like, I love both of those movies, so it's really hard for me to say which one was better. What about basketball? What do you think about that one? Uh, I could have went without watching it. For real? What about, yeah. um, what about Team America Saving the World? That was hilarious. <laughs> but, only enough to watch it once. Maybe twice. Oh, shit. Damn, they went back to the black and white bigotry cartoon. Yeah, company. that's what... Yeah, for real. That's what I said, bro. HBO Max. Wow. You got... They, they, they get all the racist cartoons like you remember. <laughs> One, if y'all ever really watched, like, late 80s fucking cartoons and shit, completely racist. And not even hiding it. No. It's just there. Because mama loves well, you, you know man, short, man, short, man, boy. Yo! 
why was I that way we came into my head? Probably like last month or so. Mama little baby love shouting in, shouting in. Mama little baby love Don't shouting in. <laughs> oh, this shit gonna get canceled. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That shit gonna start bringing up these old motherfuckers' trauma. Right. I don't want no more shouting in bread. I swear I don't even like shouting in bread. I, I, I swear as boss, I was not in the kitchen. I promise. <laughs> I promise and I wasn't. I promise I wasn't with your dozens. <laughs> I'd have been happy. Uh. <laughs> No, no, my bad. I misquoted. He's an out of pappy. <laughs> oh my god, that is the funniest part of that movie. Yeah, yeah. He's, who did it? Who did it? Out of pappy. <laughs> I saw the father, a young boy. It's so it's it's crazy as hell because he walked around with the baby, putting it up to the niggas. <laughs> And then, when he put it up to the to big dude, he was like, oh. <laughs> Gross. He was like, oh, I, can't, I can't see your big ass on top of my little girl like that. <laughs> and then he got over to the old boy. He was like, yeah, this ain't yours. <laughs> Out of pappy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, what's your name? No, oh, <laughs> that never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> that movie crazy as hell. Oh, it really was. That's... That Harlem Nights. Yeah, I'm gonna get get you sucked. But what Black Dynamite also classic. was fucking hilarious. Classic, bro. Classic. Aha! Oh, I threw that shit before I came to the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She was so funny and so fucking random. She was just fighting, and the fucking boomerang came back, and he jumped out. Ha ha! I think that's his mark in the room. Fight with John White. Oh shit! That is one person I was not expecting to be fucking hilarious. Why? Because he do all that karate be- shit. Because he's always in a serious role. Oh uh, yeah, I hated him in. Damn, what was the one with DMX, Steven Seagal, and uh, Drag On? Oh, uh, uh, did you, did you, Romeo Must Die? No, that was Jack. That, I mean, that was, um, Jet Oh, Lee. that was Jet Li, that was Jet Li. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the one where it was, because he had his daughter, or he had a daughter in that movie. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that a Jet Li movie? to the Grays? Exit Room. Exit Wounds is what it was. Is Jet Li in that one, too? I don't find something. That was Steven Seagal, right? Yeah, it definitely was Steven okay, Seagal. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen that. Uh, let's see. Steven Seagal, DMX, Isaiah Watson, Anthony Anson, Michael Jai White, Bill Duke, Jill Hennessy, Tom Arnold. Nah, it was not Jet Li. You know, speaking of Jet Li movie, Cradle to the Gay, Cradle to the Grave, the fuck what I'm saying, was DMX and Jet Li. Okay. And then you got Romeo Must Die. But the movie I was talking about earlier was um, The One. Yeah. With Jet Li. Yo, I was, I was like, hey, y'all ever see The One? And it was, it was a group of, you know, late or early 20s. 2000s or mid 2000s. <laughs> yeah, these little kids. He was like, oh, I don't even know what that is. And he was like, I don't, this one, he was like, I don't watch Kung Fu movie. Because my dad left me, and I ain't like my dad, and he was always used to make me watch him. So I don't like him. And I was like, "Well, that was a lot of fucking right." Trauma don't don't you did right your there. trauma on me. <laughs> but you know, I do what I normally do. I just laughed at it and uh, kept moving. And um, damn. So I so then I explained. I was like, "Yeah, you know, you know." I explained the movie to him. And he was like, "Oh, that actually sounds pretty dope." I was like, "Yo, it was." I was like, and I remember. I was like, "This is one line in the movie." Never goes away, and I always have it in my head. And my mother said, I am you, law, I am nobody's bitch, but you are mine. <laughs> that movie was wild as shit, bro. Like, whoa, that that oh my god, that movie was crazy. Like, his acting was terrible in that movie, terrible. 
I think he got stuck trying to act like one, but then he couldn't switch over to the other part that he was supposed to be. Yeah. And then when he finally did it at the wrong time. Bro, I was sitting there watching that movie. I'm like, this is some bad fucking acting. But the story and the fucking action in it is amazing. Made up. It made up for the, it made up for the acting. It is yeah, I can forget for the acting. Well, you know, next next one we do, we're gonna have to just sit up here and just talk about like movie. You gotta do a whole movie fucking show. Oh, that shit going viral like a motherfucker. Just for the simple fact is we can just name off so many classics right off the top of the head and give them fucking lines from scenes and shit like that. Motherfuckers will be clipping that shit up. That shit going viral if we do that shit for real. Yeah, like I said, next episode we record all movies. Damn. And that's just what the podcast going to be. We're just going to spend okay, another so... hour just talking about just straight movies. All right, because I, I need, need to go, go back and get my reference game up. So this week... That's what I'm doing after work. All classic movies, hood favorites. Because you know, one movie that I have not watched, and I know you're going to give me shit for this one. Um, oh, shit. The hood uh, movie with the karate flair. The karate flair. Fucking, um, right. What was the uh, End of the Dragon? Or with Bruce Leroy? Yeah. What? How have you not seen that? I don't know, bro. And somebody was talking about that shit online. The and Last it was... Dragon. That's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That movie. Uh, yeah. You know what? We got to cut it right here. All right. <laughs> and because uh, I was I was going to start going into it. I was like, you're, you're already pushing an hour. So, like, so yeah, we're going to have to. Uh... Like I said, next episode is going to be straight movies. So don't forget to like, follow. Subscribe, comment, and hit the new one that's gonna come out, and you can go through all the past ones. Yeah, I was so, listening uh, to all. Well, not all of them, but I listened to the butt pirate one. I mean, the butt robber one, and um, what was what was the one we did? Uh, too friendly, mm-hmm. too friendly. Oh yeah, yeah, too friendly. Them two right there are. Fucking hilarious, bro. I listen to them bitches yeah. over and over again. I'm like, damn, ain't nobody picked up on this shit. And I don't want to push it because I want this shit to just go by itself. But yeah. So Man, the question yeah, I got yeah, for, do for the next pushing. podcast is after a bear get done shitting in the woods, do it wipe his ass with a leaf or a fluffy right rabbit? Find out on the next one. On the next one. All right, we holler at you. Peace.